Okay, guys, let's go ahead and, and work uh, a little bit more on Arduino. So far, you've been able to do the for loop and the while loop. And now what we're going to do is combine the two, the for loop and the, and the while loop, uh, in order to blink a light, uh, an LED. What we're going to do is ask for a third person, a third party input to tell us how many times we want to blink the LED. So you're going to combine a while loop and a for loop today. I'm using pin number 13. I've already gone ahead and made some ints just to save time. Uh, I made an LED pin number 13 because I'm going to use the built-in LED on the Arduino. Uh, I set a couple of delay times simply because, you know, we always seem to need delay times. So I set a couple. I, I know I'm going to use a for loop, so I went ahead and set J. And I'm going to have to record whatever comes out of the while loop and, and move it into the for loop. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to have some variable. So I put counts. If we go on down to the void setup, you'll notice in the void setup, I've already got the LED uh, with an output. And I've done the serial dot begin at 9600 baud rate. If you're ready to go, let's go ahead and see if we can start this. Now, guys, I always like to start with something I know I can do. So I know I can do digital writes. Digital write, and we're going to digital write LED. We're going to write it high. Because I know I can do that. And then I'm going to do a delay. This we've been doing quite a while, so this seems this should be pretty common for you at this point. We're going to do a wait, and I'm going to just do this. I'm going to just copy these. Command C. I'm going to drop. Oh, I just deleted them. So what I'll do is put them back. I'll put a, a command on them. I don't know why they deleted actually. And then, and then I'm going to go ahead and go on down, and I'm going to change this to low. Okay, so now we have our blinking light. And if you want to downlight that, go right ahead. It should just blink the light, or the LED. So it would be a good time to check to see if you have any errors up to this point. And so I like to do that, personally. Is like I like to check as I go along. That way, if I've made an error, I don't have a whole bunch of code to go back through. I can kind of control it as I go. Well, you know as well as I do that the first thing we got to do is we're going to ask we're going to ask somebody to participate in this. So the first thing we got to do is a, a prompt, something to ask them. So we're going to do that with a serial serial dot uh, print, and let's do a line, right? And we're going to ask them. Uh, how many times would you like to blink the LED? Put a space, uh, quotation, and semicolon, right? So we should have it now. I think I'm going to put a space under that just to make it look neat. So I'm going to do serial dot print print line. And I'm just going to put a space just because it'll make it look a little neater. And then I'm going to ask a while. Uh, it's time to ask while now. Let's go ahead and put our while loop in here. It should turn green. Uh, we know we need to put some stuff in here, so we're going to put serial dot available serial dot available right and then we're going to um, we need to put our parentheses in right and we need to put our equals equals zero that keeps it shut off until somebody puts something in then it goes to one and then we start the cycle we need to finish our parentheses. We need to set two curly brackets. And that's our while loop. Now we're just sitting there waiting for somebody to say something to us. 
Now, when they put it in, we're going to have to put it someplace so we know how, what they just put in. So let's put, uh, this is where we're going to use that counts variable. So, and we're going to do serial dot parse. So we're going to read what, what they put in for on, the, on the serial monitor. That's the parse. We're going to t change it to an int because when it comes in, it's a string. And it's a function, so we've got to have these little guys. And I think we still need that. So we've got all that now. So now we've done our while loop. We've, we've asked somebody to put something in. They're going to put it in. We're going to collect it and put it into accounts. Okay. So now all we have left to do is our for loop. So we got to do a for loop. And everybody knows how we do a for loop. J equals 1. That's where we start. Then we're going to do J is less than or equal to some number. But in this time, we're not going to have a number. All we're going to have is what we've collected from, from the person who put it in. So let's, well, let's set that to counts. Okay, so that sets the counts. And then we're going to do J equals j plus 1. And why do we do that? That's the way we build our counter, right? Now then, we have to decide what we want inside that for loop. And we know we want that inside of the for loop. We know we want that, at least. Let's go down here and we'll put our other bracket in. Keep track of these brackets is hard. But now, we have it collected, but we don't know we don't have any way to know that what it's doing so let's get a let's put a serial print in here serial dot print line and then we're going to put uh what do you want to put blink number and then a space you think I think that'll work. Blink number. And then we're going to collect it. We're going to record we're going to record J. Now let's go back up here and take this line out. Because I want the J to be up there by blink number and that should take that out let's see if there's anything else we want to do um, the only other thing i want to do is come under after that for loop and i'm just going to put another space i just want another space so it looks nice show dot line Double quotation, close it. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to just put a delay to, to slow everything down so that we, so I can tell what's going on. And I think I identified a wait two, which I did, which will give me enough time to make sure this is all working. Okay. What do you think? Got semicolons everywhere. We need semicolons. Got brackets. Let's check our bracket. That one's there. That one's up there. These two are together. That all looks good. Let's take and run this puppy and see where we're at. We may have an error too. If we do, we'll fix it. That's part of this is learning to fix errors. Oh, look. We did actually get it uploaded. Well, let's go see what we've, what we've made. How many times would you like to blink the LED? Shall we say three? We said three. And at this point, blink number one, blink number two, blink number three. Let's do it again. I, and that way I can check my light to see my LED to make sure it's blinking each time. One, two, three. Yep, we got it. Okay, so that's... that's uh, how we're going to combine a while loop and a for loop. Now, your goal is to actually do just this program again.
to, to take this code and develop this code for for one for one LED. And then you're going to develop the code for two LEDs and then for three LEDs. So at some point you're going to ask individuals how, how many times they'd like to blink a red, white, and blue LED. Okay? So that's your assignment. Let's see if you can get that done. And uh, make sure and take a screenshot of it. Send it to me. And we'll go from there. Okay? Well, until next time, I think that's all we have.